told her, told that bitch to party me. I started fucking her this week. Shorty say she think that I'm the only one she needs. Say I'm the only one she. Hey YouTube, it's Meredith, and today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me video. Um, it's been a long time since I've just recorded and made content. I did have um, I posted on my Instagram. A picture and I had a few people comment and ask for my like makeup routine base or what is that called skin prep see y'all I'm not even good with like the makeup names and stuff right now I'm breaking out but usually I'll put on this pond I've been using this since I was since I started using moisturizer like since I was 15 the things not on it but y'all know this is pond's pond's is like my go-to not too much not too little it doesn't do too much it just kind of does what it's supposed to do this is trick number one y'all but this right here changed the game for me so y'all know whenever you like put on concealer or stuff under your eyes and it makes you look old but yeah whenever all of those little lines start to like come out and show a lot more than they were before and then you're like i put on makeup but i look old what's going on or i put on makeup and now you can see all of these little crevices and creases aquaphor I don't know if everybody does this, but this has been part of my, um, see this shit's almost gone, that's how you know. This has been part of, that was a little bit too much. This has been part of my skin prep for makeup for almost two years now. And it pretty much just gives you like this dewy look. And when you put makeup over it, it's kind of like dewy and slimy instead of, um, dry and cracky because like that's why I feel like it creases so much is because there's like no there's not enough moisture and then you put product on and then it like creases I don't know that's what I do boom aquaphor under the eyes and then I put it on my eyelids and then just a little bit around and this is what I use for my eyebrows um I have never done research on products I kind of just like accumulated things over the years and what works for me works for me I use this I think it might be some off-brand shit y'all but it's just like a little you know this I take this type of brush and then I just scrub it like this <laughs> and then boom the makeup look that I like to go for most days kind of just accents the features that I like so like my lashes I don't really like doing fake lashes that much because I feel like my eyes are really small and when I put on lashes it kind of weighs it down or like just covers my eyes completely I know some people got to be able to relate to that because some people look really good with the fake lashes if I do fake lashes they have to be like the ends or like super like not too bulky and then you know like other than that I'll just do a little bit of concealer here and there I'll do like contour a little blush and then my eyebrows a little bit of like lip i've realized for me and i feel like for most people if they can figure it out for themselves the natural look like not too much but just enough to kind of amplify those pretty features that you already have that you just want to kind of airbrush a little bit that's the best makeup look 100 percent. this concealer elf concealer because it's a little bit lighter and then i'll just tap a little bit like here like literally a little bit take it and take a brush like this that motherfucker out yeah just like that underneath it's harder for me to do my makeup in here because i'm used to being um right up on the mirror and like i have a mirror in my room and i'll sit right up on it so i can like get it perfect i don't wet my beauty blender i've tried it before i don't get the hype it makes no sense to me because every time i wet it it feels like it's like making everything wet and separating everything and like melting it off my face i don't know it's just so weird to me i'm like why does people do that unless they do it because like they wait a little bit because i think i usually don't wait long enough after i wet it but it just gets fat and then soggy and i'm like okay and then this is another tip that i learned that i feel like changed everything i know i look super pale right now but a tip that i learned like whenever i'm putting on my concealer even like under my eyes so obviously I have a little bit of like uh what is it like purple eye bags or whatever but leaving like putting the concealer right here and then blending around and kind of patting in beats having 
all of the product baked underneath your eyes and your eyes being all oh my god it's like the worst look ever i know you guys know exactly what i'm talking about it's like wrinkles all underneath your eyes and you look like you put on too much makeup or you look like you're an old lady but yeah it gets rid of the redness from any of like the breakouts it airbrushes kind of puts a layer of concealer over but then right here it's not too much like you see it's not like a whole bunch of wrinkles and stuff for concealer and for like foundation that's all i do i just do like my blemishes and then i kind of like spread it out a little bit so i pretty much just use the concealer as foundation kind of sort of because i don't want to do like a full layer of foundation over my face okay okay tip number three and this is just for me but i feel like maybe a lot of people's skin is like mine was because i used to be like why is my makeup coming out like this and it was because i was baking my whole face i do not bake under my eyes call me crazy i don't use powder under my eyes because once again it just makes me look unpleasant it doesn't look good i bake my eyebrows because i don't know i just like doing that and i probably should have curled my lashes before i did like the powder and concealer and stuff but it's fine look at that difference also look at the power of just this little thing like look at the difference it's crazy I usually keep a lighter in my um, makeup bag and I'll kind of swift it across here. Wait a second, because I have burnt the fuck out of myself. So wait that second, because you're gonna be looking crazy. And then you kind of put it and hold it and it'll keep it there longer. And boom, and look at how pretty my natural lashes look. And baby, I've come a long way with these natural lashes. I used to do lash extensions. I had a really bad run in with some lash extensions they ripped all my damn eyelashes out. i'm talking about i had bald patches and stuff i used to rip them bitches out when i tell y'all like people say don't uh, the one rule is don't rip out your lash extensions bitch i did not care if i had lash extensions and i started to get like anxious or something i would start ripping them out like a psycho like a crazy bitch i'm like and then i'll look at myself in the mirror and have half of my lashes and you know when you rip them out your lashes are coming with them like i would see lashes attached to them and i would keep ripping them out <laughs> just amplify those same features that are making you look pretty already and you look great also if you have colored eyes i'm not going to do it today but like if you have green or blue eyes or something if you have green or blue eyes if you tight line like black i might do it today y'all if you put black under baby you look at anybody anyone you're looking at Oh, they're looking at you and they're not even going to be able to keep eye contact with you because your eyes are going to be popping so much and then with like the rest of your face kind of like light beat and you just like hey baby they're gonna be like oh so that that is one of my like secret keys i'll be doing the tight line especially when i have that wing eyeliner and the tight line bitch ain't nobody touching me anyway next up is bronzer this is a hula bronzer and once again i just take it a little i put this everywhere because with that with nothing but concealer being on my face i kind of need this to um you know give me some color because i kind of wash myself out with the concealer i put it on my nose too and then just just make sure it's dark enough to where you can see it from the front and then make sure it's not too much on the side. Cause like from the front, if you do it too light, you won't be able to see it. But then on the side, if it's too much, oh, you gonna see it. I'll just pat just to get a little bit on my cheeks. See, like when I say a little bit, like just a little bit. I have this palette, it's peach. It smells like peaches. This palette, the Georgia. Cause a bitch from Georgia. Take it. Boom. And I'll just pat it in, try to keep it right here. See that? Just a little something. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all could call me crazy, but it's that little natural, like, mm, just a little like, oh. Do I want to do a little brown? Yeah, I want to do a little brown. About. <laughs> y'all gonna be like this bitch. But you see, oh. I'm telling y'all, like, I'm on to something. It's just a little, like, okay. And then just the same things. Wicka, 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 wicka.
wicka, wicka, wicka. Boom. So what is next? Don't you be trying to get a sneak peek. Don't you be trying to get a sneak peek. And you're going to be like, they're all the same color. No, they're not. They're not the same color. You think they're the same color because you don't know nothing. They might be the same, close to the same color, but it's not the same color. First of all, this one's my favorite. This one's a brown. I used to like brown. I don't really like brown no more. These two are pretty much the same color, but I like this one better. So I'm going to go with this one. And it's cute. And I got to keep this on me all day. My secret weapon. And then I'm going to be right back because I'm about to do my hair. All right, y'all. And here is for the hair. I'm going to try to wrap this up. I'm gonna try to wrap this up real quick because I know I've been having y'all here for a while. You guys probably are gonna know a better way for me to style my hair than what you guys are about to see. So if you guys see how my hair dries and how I style it and you think there's a better way for me to be doing it, comment. I take a t-shirt and then I scrunch it. Okay. So yeah, this is how it looks right now. It looks kind of crazy, but I'm gonna come back after it's dry so you guys can see how it dried and see my outfit and everything. So yeah, see you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. This is like my everyday get ready look. This is how I do my makeup when I'm not doing nothing too crazy, but I wanna film myself a little bit. Y'all see what I was saying about my hair. It pretty much just turns into a little wavy mess of something, but. I like it better than it being pin straight because it gives me a little, I don't know, a little something. A little something. But anyways, if you guys like the video and you guys want more content like this, I'm going to get back into it. I'm feeling my I'm feeling my content creator vibes coming back out. So comment below. I think I'm going to do a truth, a spicy truth or drink with one of my friends later. Maybe. I think so. Um, Subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, your girl is back. So show some love. Love you guys. Straight out of flow, that told that bitch to party me. I started fucking her this week. Shorty say she think that I'm the only one she needs. Say I'm the only one she. Only.